Okay, some nouns can be both. Unco both used both uncountably and countably. So let's look and see what examples we have for this. When we talk about the whole substance or idea, the noun is usually uncountable. So I prefer tea or co tea to coffee. You'll notice that both of these are liquids. So all liquids and gases are non-countable. Okay, I'll write that down, liquids and gases. So that makes it a lot easier because how do you count a liquid? And this would, would be also rain as well. Rain, right, is a liquid. Okay, any kind of liquid, milk, juice, tea, coffee, water, any liquid, Coca-Cola, okay? Yeah, okay, so all of those, any liquid, okay? But an uncountable name can be changed to countable by, and how can we make it countable? Talking about it in a container, okay? I'll have two coffees and a tea, please. This, the, the, it means it's implied that it's two cups of coffee, okay, and a cup of tea, okay? So it's, I'll have two coffees and a tea, please, so we understand. So we can make it by cups of tea, cups of coffee, glasses of water, okay? Um, any kind of container, a pail of cement, uh, any kind of container, okay, that you can put it in will make it countable, okay? So that's a carton of something, a, a, bo a bottle of something, okay, a bottle of Coke, a can of pee, uh, Coke or something like that, okay, and any of those kinds of things, okay? So any kind of container. Or when we refer to a particular example of that thing, so here's a good one. You, you have hair on your head, because you can't count the individual hairs, right? So, but there's a hair, one hair in my soup. So some can be both. If you're talking about one hair, right? But we always say we don't have, we don't have hairs on our head. We have hair on our head. Okay, the non-countable is what we use. Or when we refer to a particular instance or a substance or idea. This is this one's wrong. I had a stone in my shoe. This is a bad example. I, I don't know who wrote this. Because um, stone is countable. You have stones. I have two stones in my shoe. I have stones in my shoe is correct. You can count them. But this one, the, what they're talking, the, the word that is un uncountable is a stone statue you know, when it's made of stone, okay? That's, you know, your example of the uncountable word, a stone statue, okay? So when you're using, or a stone uh, tombstone, you know, in the, well, they call them tombstones in the, in the uh, graveyard and they're made of stone, but a stone statue would be a calm, or a stone house. Sometimes a house is made of stone. Okay, so I'll write a stone house, a stone statue. So, so did you see that it can be an uncountable word, but in this instance, we're talking about stones, okay? Uh, 